plantification of apsic acid using HPLC. Apsic acid is a plant hormone produced in high amounts when the plant is exposed to conditions of abiotic stress. Quantity of apsic acid produced is proportional to the abiotic stress it has been exposed to. High performance liquid chromatography is used to separate and identify molecules in biological samples. Sample preparation for HPLC. This is the protocol to be followed for the sample preparation for HPLC. Rice leaf samples are stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade after freeze drying. These are the materials required for sample preparation. Phosphate buffer is the diluent preventing denaturation of cells. Ethyl acetate increases solvent polarity. 80% methanol is the solvent used to dissolve the sample. Rice leaf samples are cut into small bits and ground using a pestilent mortar in liquid nitrogen. Gloves are to be worn for safety. Methanol is the solvent used for dissolving the sample. This is then transferred into a centrifuge tube. This is then stored in a 4 degree freezer overnight. The extract is then transferred into a centrifuge tube. Equal amount of phosphate buffer of pH 8 is added to the sample to prevent denaturation of cells. The pH is adjusted between 8 and 9 using 0.1 normal potassium hydroxide. Equal volume of ethyl acetate is added to increase the polarity of the solvent. Centrifugation is to be done at 3000 rpm for 5 minutes to settle down ethyl acetate. Chlorophyll is seen as a separate layer. This is to be pulled out. Rotary evaporation is to be done to remove traces of ethyl acetate.
Purging is to be done before the running of the column to prevent obstruction of sample flow. Class VP is the commercial software used for running the HPLC. It is to be clicked. LC8A module is open to operate the chromatograph. Flow rates of the solvents are adjusted at 60 and 40. The chromatograph is to be standardized first. is to be injected into the analytical column using the syringe. The presence of the peak at the same retention time as that of the standard confirms the presence of apsic acid in the sample. Here the peak is shown between the 7th and 8th minutes. The calibrated readings of the sample such as retention time and area of the peak are noted down for calculation of the apsic acid content in the sample. Quantity of apsic acid in the plant sample can be calculated in ppm. This is the formula for calculating the amount of apsic acid in the plant sample. Concentration of the standard into area of the sample into final volume into weight of the sample divided by area of the standard. The result is the quantity of apsic acid in the rice leaf sample that is 2754 parts per million. Thank you for viewing my video. That's all from Rohit. Goodbye.